this video, we're going to cover how to use the Google Finance function to pull in historical stock information into your Google Sheets spreadsheet. So you can see here I have a finished product of what we're going to create today. Up in the top here, I have some input cells. I have the stock exchange, the NASDAQ, followed by a colon and the stock ticker symbol for Apple stock. I have our start date, which is a year in the past, our end date of the range we want to pull back, which is today's date, and then the interval daily. Down below that, we have the output of our Google Finance function. We have the historical date range that goes back a year and the historical high and low stock prices daily. To the right, we have a simple chart that shows the trend of these historical high and low prices. So we'll get started here. On a new sheet, I'm just going to paste in these labels here and re-input our criteria. So we have the NASDAQ stock exchange colon and then the Apple stock symbol. Our start date is going to be the today function minus 365 days because we want a historical look back. Our end date is going to be just the today function by itself because we want to pull in today's date. And finally, we have our interval, which we want the historical daily information. So now we're going to begin our Google Finance function. First input is our ticker which is this cell here. Our next input is the attribute fields we want to display. The Google Finance function has about five or six attribute fields that display historical information based on date ranges. If you don't know what they are, you can simply input all in double quotes here, and it will display all of them. And that's what we're going to do for now. So the next input is our start date, which is year in the past. Our next input is the end date, which is today. And our final input is the interval, which is daily. So you can see this shows all the available fields that show historical stock information. We have the date, the opening daily price, the daily high and low prices, the daily closing price, and the daily volume. So if we wanted to just display one of these fields, like say the volume, I can hit F2 to go back into this. And in this second argument here, I can input the field I want to display, volume. And we just get the daily volume. But what if we wanted to display two or three fields? How do you do that? Well, you can't. The way you get around that, though, is you nest this function within the query function and select certain columns. So when you do that, when you nest this within a query function, it is best to have this attribute field set to all because you know all the available fields and it's helpful just so you can see which columns you want to get. So let's just say we want to display the date, the high and the low prices only. So that's column one, three, and four. So I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to begin a query statement here. Now the first input in the query statement is the data we want to query off of. Well, we already have that. We've input that with this Google Finance function. So that one is done already. The next input is our query statement. So since we're inputting this within the function here, we need to enclose it in double quotes and it begins with the keyword select. And now here is where we can specify what columns we want to pull back. The syntax is going to be col for column and then the column number. We want column one, column three, and column four. And I'm going to close out this second argument with a double quote. The final input is the number of row headers we have in our data. 
that is one. I'm going to hit enter, and you can see now we have columns one, three, and four. The date, the high, and the low price historically. So now we can insert this in a chart. Before I do that, I'm going to change the format so that this just shows the date by itself. So I'm going to select this data here and go up to insert and then chart. And Google Sheets will populate a suggested chart. I think this looks pretty good for stocks. So we'll go with this. It shows a linear trend of high and low. So the only thing I might do is change the background color under the customized ribbon to maybe like a light green. Move this over here just a little bit. And so now we have everything. And if I wanted to see another stock, I can simply type in that ticker symbol. Another stock that's on the NASDAQ is Microsoft. So, and you can see everything updates automatically. So that is how you can specify particular fields other than all or a single field in the Google Finance function for historical attributes.